I'm here at the showcase for Bell Labs in the Mural Hall of Parliament House. It's a great opportunity for us to see what Bell Labs have been doing. And with me is Alice White. She's the Chief Scientist at Bell Labs. Welcome, Alice. Tell us a little bit about your work. Well, I've uh, been at Bell Laboratories for about 28 years. I've seen tremendous changes, but most of my work, recent work has been in integrating optical functions onto a silicon chip. So. Oh, that's very exciting. That's something I know. Um, there are businesses here in Australia who have described to me that's the next phase that they'd like their technology to. To, to operate within and, and on. Let me show you actually, I have one here. I said this is it. All right, zo zoom in on this. It's a very exciting piece of technology. Um, Alice, tell us a little bit about it. We call them photonic integrated circuits, PIC for short, and these are uh, demultiplexers and multiplexers. So what they're doing is to uh, the chip actually takes multiple wavelengths of light and multiplexes them together onto the fiber, and at the other end of the transmission system, demultiplexes them and separates them for different carriers. That's exciting. So at the moment, what you've put on a chip is a, you know, is a component about about so big. So this is a, a it, significant development. It means that we can produce them inexpensively and that they're very compact. So it's going to, I think, make it revolutionize the way that optical circuits are built. Oh, that's so, fantastic. And there are several other displays here. Um, uh, we'll get some photos of it and post them on the website as well. Um, Alice, you've been at Bell Labs for a long time. You're at the top of the game. What's it like, particularly being a woman in a tech world? And I know here in Australia, women represent about 20% of the IT workforce. Tell well, me about that. It's a lot of fun to walk into a room and, and uh, be introduced as a chief scientist because the first reaction is a little bit of a you know, step back. Yeah. But um, science is an area where um, the credibility is based on your ability to do science and it's a very objective field and, and so I've had a very, um, a very, very good career in it and I've had a chance to meet a lot of people and talk all around the world. Um, the ability to communicate is very important in science. So that's something that I think women are a little vanity. So yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I hope you that I think you will inspire a lot of Australian women to so stick at it and stay with IT and, and look at the research fields because it's so exciting yeah. too with the MBN coming. Yes, what an exciting uh, opportunity for us today. We're all, the whole world is watching. Yeah, well, um, I'm excited about it. It makes Australia, um, you know, a, a network here that no other country can claim. We, we close the digital divide. Um, and having that available bandwidth will mean that we will look to Australia and what is happening in the applications and services area. It's a test bed. It's absolutely the case, really, state of the art. So. Okay, well, it's great to have you in Australia and particularly here in Parliament House to hear about your work and congratulations on your career. Thank you. It's been wonderful.